friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. If you're new here, I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today's video is a comparison. We are comparing two styles of a twist up t-shirts. The Ellie and Mac Twisted Up Top and the Petite Stitchery Co. Romy Twist. So if you're interested in either of those patterns or just curious to know which I like better, stay tuned. So to start off, I'm just going to do a quick breakdown on each pattern, kind of explaining what they look like. Both of these patterns will be linked down in the description box for you to check out at your leisure. For this comparison, I have chosen to use some cotton lycra. This is tie-dye cotton lycra from Sheer Perfection Fabrics. I don't believe they have it in stock, but there's always more coming in because it always sells out super fast. So if you are interested, make sure you follow over on Facebook, their, their group there. I am not sponsored, I just love Angela and love Sheer Perfection. So the Ellie and Mac tee I made in this pink and purple tie-dye. So this is my Ellie and Mac version for this video. I have made, I think, four of these now. So it is a dolman style, meaning a grown-on sleeve. It has a kind of a scoop neck, crew neck type of a neckline. It is not too low nor too high. And then the twist on this is, looks like that. And the pattern comes with it in the center, but it is so easy to hack to one side. And this is available in kid sizing as well. And then the Romy tee, I used two different colorways for this. So this is the Romy. It has a basic set in sleeve and a V-neck or a crew neck option. And then the twist on the Romy looks like this. And the Romy has this center front seam so you can do something like I did where you mix and match colors. That is really popular. So if you're into that, I say go crazy. Be really great for upcycling as well. And this is available also in a kid's size as well as a baby size. And both of these patterns have long sleeve options as well or sleeveless. So I have broken this down into categories that we're going to go through to determine which pattern is going to be a great fit for you or maybe both are. <laughs> Let's start with the sizing. So the Ellie and Mac Twisted Up Top comes in sizes XXS or extra extra small all the way up to a 5XL and that equates to a 29 inch bust all the way up to a 60 inch bust. With the Romy you have a size range of extra small to 4X. And that equates to a 31 and a half inch bust to a 56 and three quarter inch bust. So, Ellie and Mac wins on size range. Next up, let's talk pattern pieces. So we all love a good quick sew. For the Ellie and Mac tee, you're going to need three pieces, a front, a back, and a neck band. For the Romy, you need six pieces. You need two front pieces, the back piece, two sleeve pieces, and a neck band. So, in my opinion, Ellie and Mac wins on this one as well. So let's switch gears now and talk about the options that each pattern comes with. The Romy is a twist top and a twist skirt. You get the two different garment pieces in this pattern. For comparison, we're just gonna talk about the shirt options, but just know that there is that skirt in there as well. So you're going to get the cropped or the full length version for the Romy. And then there are four different sleeve lengths with, the, with them all being hemmed sleeves versus bands or cuffs. And then there's also the crew or v-neck options. So you have four different sleeve lengths, two different neckline lengths, and then two different bodice length options. So there's a load of potential in this pattern. With the Ellie and Mac version, you get three sleeve length options. So there isn't a three quarter length sleeve. That is really easy to hack. So you know, you have to decide if that's worth it or not. However, the long sleeve does come with the cuff piece. So if you do choose to do that, again, that's another piece, another piece for that, as well as the long sleeve then is actually two pieces because you have your grown on sleeve and then your long sleeve plus your cuff. And then as for the neckline, you it is only the one neckline style, but there is an option for a cowl on it as well. So in terms of amount of options, I think Petite Stitchery wins on this one. 
Now, let's talk about bang for your buck. So we did say that Petite Stitchery wins on options, but does that mean it's a better deal? Well, they also have the skirt, remember? And the price of the Romy is $8 for the shirt and the skirt. This is $8 American, but right now, at time of filming, it's on sale for $5. That's a pretty sweet deal. However, if we look at the Elian Mac version, is it a better deal? No. It is regular priced at $9.99 American, so $10 USD. However, there's a big but here. Ellie and Mac puts on a sale every single week where they mark down about six or eight patterns to one dollar. So if you follow along with their Wacky Wednesday sales, you can grab this tea, this tea pattern for just one dollar American. And in my mind, if you can wait for a sale, that is worth it. So maybe you should just buy both. I don't know. Try not to be an enabler here, but. For Wacky Wednesday, if you are interested in following along, I do always have a link in my Instagram, and I try to let you know what's going on with Wacky Wednesday as I can too, but if you do join their Facebook group, there's always people sharing there too. So, who has the better bang for the buck? Honestly, I don't know how to rate this considering you could get one pattern for one dollar and one for five dollars. So I think the fairest thing to do is to look at the regular price of of $8 for the Romy and $10 for the twisted up top. And in that case, and considering all the options with the Romy, I think Petite Stitchery wins on this one as well. Hold up, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit my subscribe button if you like this content and you wanna see more comparisons. I do have another one planned shortly, so you don't wanna miss it. So we are tied up at two points apiece and three categories left to go. So let's move on to fit. For my bust measurement, I actually measured into extra large for both of these patterns. Because I have made the Ellie and Mac version before, I knew that I wanted to make this version in a large because quite honestly, I've made the medium and in the large, I've never made the extra large. So I made the large and that's the fit that I like for my body. For the petite stitchery, I made the extra large thinking no way am I gonna be an extra large. Again, it's that same mentality that I made a whole video about, about sizing in patterns. Anyway, I made the extra large and it is a close fit. This is a close fit pattern. I do find that from looking at other versions as well. So keep that in mind that it is not loose fit and there is not very much if any ease built into this pattern. I don't feel like it's stretching across my bust, but it is definitely fitting my body. And for that reason, I don't really think that their size range is very inclusive because I am at the extra large. So there's only, I think, four or five sizes above me, but we are just talking about fit. So I do think that their sizing scale is accurate. This is the only PS Co pattern that I have made in terms of garments. So. It is accurate, the fit is good, it's just maybe not my preference. Now again, if we go over to the Ellie and Mac twisted up top, I did make the large, even though I me measure into the extra large. This is a looser fit garment. It, that's just the way it's drafted. It, it does not have the nice curves like the Romy does. So it is a looser fit. So those are big differences. Maybe a closer fitting with the Romy and then a loose fit with the Twisted Up. So for that reason, I can't really speak on which is better. I personally prefer the fit of the Ellie & Mac tee, like for wearability and comfort and that kind of thing. But if I want to look a little bit nicer, then the, I find the Romy is a better fit for my body to kind of maybe step it up from just your basic jeans and tee. Along the lines of fit, we're gonna talk about the length. So I do find them to be quite different. The Romy is short. I find it short. I do have a longer torso, so I could easily you know, manipulate the pattern to make longer for my preference. I cannot wear like a low rise, not that I wear low rise, but my belly would be showing, so I do wear high rise with this. Keep that in mind if you don't wear high rise clothing and you don't want to be showing off your midriff, you would lengthen this. And again, I made the long version, not the cropped version. So that is, that is just something to consider. I don't mind the length of the sides, but again, where it comes up in the middle, I do find it short. 
The Elian Mac does also have a dramatic difference from the side seam up to where it twists in the front. And I do find that the length of the side seam is quite long and then the twist is, it's okay, it's not super short. Um, I would maybe like it a little bit longer and I, I've kind of been thinking in my head how I can make a video to adjust that or how I can adjust that. So if you are interested in that, let me know and I can, I can make a tutorial on how to hack it to be a different rise. I do think that the Ellie and Mac length is, again, it's, t it's too long for my personal preferences in the body. I think I would probably, I should probably alter that to be different just because I don't like how low it comes in the back. But again, these are shirts that I'm wearing for comfort, so I'm not too worried about the fit of them for for my body, if that makes sense. The tailoring of them. So who wins on fit? <sighs> I'm gonna have to give this to the Romy. I find that it follows its size guide nicely. It hugs your body like a nice tailored shirt. And the length is is good. I think because I have a longer torso that that's, that's on me. Um, but I do think the drafting is nice. Okay. Let's see if Ellie Mac can bring it up here with sewability. Which one is easier to sew? Can you sew either of them solely on a serger and do we want that? And are there any techniques that are really elevated and beginners should stay away from? So I want to start off by saying that neither of these are crazy difficult. I think a beginner could handle either one of them. But let's maybe talk about what's going on in each of them. So the Romy is very different from the twisted up top and really different than other twist styles that you might be seeing. So the way that that's constructed is drastically different from the twisted up. It has two different pieces that come and cross over each other and then go into the side seam. And it's, it's essentially an attached band that you fold up. So when I first did it, again, I've only sewn this one time, but it was, it was different. It wasn't difficult, but it was different. And I think the main thing is, I don't know if the company was trying to do this or what, but it is 100% doable on your serger, aside from the hems, of course. So because of that reason, the side seam gets sewn after it's hemmed. So you have your serger tail coming out at the side seam. So then you either have to sew it down and cut it or, or you know, slide it back into the seam allowance and sew it down. I don't love that look. I like a nicer finish on my hem. So of course it's not hidden inside the hem, it's open like that. You don't really notice it, but I prefer to have a nice clean finish. For that reason, it's not my favorite and I think I would try and do it differently next time if possible. But other than that, there is really no crazy sewing issues. The center seam down here, I would probably recommend doing on a sewing machine and then pressing your seams open, to be honest. I did mine on the serger and it just kind of gets a little bit lumpy. You could also top stitch if you're confident in that or if you have, you know, a cover stitch or something that you would want to do that on. It does have a v-neck which can be tricky but you don't have to do the v-neck option. Personally, I like that for my body. So is this a beginner pattern? I think a beginner could handle it. I think if you're confident sewing knit fabrics, it would be a lot better. And all of it can be sewn on the serger, aside from the hemming. And if while we're at it, let's talk about the hems. So you have a nice deep hem on the sleeves here. I think it's about one inch, but you can always change that. And then the bottom is a nice deep hem. I think it's about one and a half inches on the bottom hem. Now, if we move over to the twisted up top from Elian Mac, this cannot be done 100% on the serger. The twist that happens in the front here is done on the sewing machine, which I actually like because it's, it's less bulk and there's less going on in there. And then other than that, it's just your neck band. So it's really simple. You know, you don't have a sleeve to do. You do have to hem the sleeve, of course, but the, it's very, very simple. So for sewability, I think Ellie and Mac wins on this one. We're tied up at three points a piece again. 
Final category is the twist style. And I left this one to last because a lot of it is just my personal preference. So if we look at the Romy, I've already shown you that the twist is different, but I consider it more of a crossover style where you have one side crossing over to the other. So you can see that this fabric is different than this because it crosses over from here. And I've already pointed out the that this can be done on the serger and the side seams and all of that. So we're not going to get into that. What I like about this twist style is it doesn't flip up. And even if it does, this is like a band. So you just see the other side of the same fabric. So do I prefer the look of the twist? No, but I do prefer the function of it. So again, that is the, the Romy. And then... I've already told you I prefer the Elian Mac twist look so I prefer how it kind of just tucks up but you'll see it's flipping already on here on me that's because this is only a half inch hem on the bottom I do not like that I do not like that Sam I am so it is flipping even with using a cover stitch machine and you know steam and everything like that it does still want to flip up not super bad but it is still noticeable Again, I need to figure out how to adjust this to make a deeper hem and how to kind of alter the, the different twist shapes. But I do prefer the look of this twist over the Romy. So the big winner is Ellie and Mac. I do prefer their pattern. I think that if I were to recommend one to you based on my preferences, it would be the Ellie and Mac tee. But again, a lot of these categories are personal preference. You know, the fit, the style. If you could sew it all on a serger, these are all personal preferences. And I think that you really need to, you know, watch this video that like you have and then decide which one is going to be good for you. Again, do like I did and buy both. You, if you can wait for a sale on the Twisted Up Top from Ellie and Mac, then you can get it for just a dollar. And you can grab the Romy right now for $5. So it's really not a huge investment to have both. And I do think there's great things about each of these patterns. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in determining which pattern you are going to choose. Or if not, if you already own both, maybe it was just entertaining for you to see which one I prefer. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!